Hey, what's up, everybody? A Naughty Llama here, and I've got some uh, Black Ops 2, some uh, TDM from the new map, uh, or the new map pack DLC. I think this map is Encore. I was going to say Stadium for a second. Uh, kind of reminds me of Stadium from Black Ops 1, but yeah, this map is called Encore. It's pretty fun to uh, play on in there. You see the guy I kill who's uh, sitting in a corner with the uh, pistol and the assault shield? This guy just freaking pisses me off all game. I think he goes on a tear on me at one point where he kills me a good like four or five times in a row. There you can see him kill me there and that looks like a shotgun. I don't even know how a pistol can be that powerful or it kills you in two bullets. It's just like come on dude at least make the pistols fair in this game. That with the uh, gay assault shield on his back annoyed me so I started off using the AN94 like I said with quick draw and silencer and I think I switched pretty quickly here after this guy kills me a few more times but this map is really cool. Um, all the maps are cool. I think the DLCs is worth the uh, 10 or 15 bucks, whatever they charge for it. I just, yeah, there he killed me before I get a shot off. So it's like, F this, I'm switching to a shotgun just to piss this guy off, which uh, I'll do that a lot. If people on the other team annoy me, instead of just quitting, I'll just put on a class that is super annoying, like an LMG or something like that. And I'll just be like, all right, dude, I'll just uh, play like a douche until I can get these kids to quit because I hate when people just play so annoying. It's just like, dude, play the game normal. Run around with a gun or whatever. Don't sit in one spot in a corner with an assault shield on your back so you have to get shot in the front and stuff. It's just kind of gay and stuff how people play in this game. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the DLC is definitely worth it. The map, this one is cool. Um, I was saying I bought the uh, season pass or whatever. That was 50 bucks. So I think you'll end up saving like 10 bucks in the long run of that because they have two DLCs out now which were what 15 a piece and then I think they'll probably put two or three more out so uh you end up saving some money if you buy that but if I didn't buy that I don't even know if I would have bought the map pack so I just started playing this game again like last week and I'm getting hooked on it again I really like it even though there's a lot of annoying things in the game it's still probably the best shooter game out there I'm not a fan of Battlefield at all hopefully uh with the new consoles it might run good it'll it should run like it does on PC with uh these new consoles, you get the PS4 coming out this holiday season, and then Microsoft's supposed to unveil the new Xbox um, in like a month or two at E3 whenever they have their little press conference, so that'll be cool. And uh, here you can see I'm just throwing uh, flashbangs in certain areas where I think somebody will be camping, and if I get a hit marker, then I know somebody's there. It's kind of what I do to just try to f get a feel around for the area and see if anybody's in that area or not. EMP grenades work really well too because their blast radius is ridiculous so if somebody's within like 10 feet of where you throw it you'll get a little hit marker so that can kind of warn you to uh, play a little more cautiously and look out for some people so there I ended up killing that guy and uh, I'll grab his uh, care package here which I've got engineer on because belting buddies are everywhere in this game and then I also like the uh, ability to reroll care packages which I used a lot of care packages, but I kind of stopped because the same thing that happened to that guy would happen to me. I would get killed by somebody, and then uh, the other team would just take my care package, and it kind of slows down the pace of your game. You have to call it in and camp for like 30 seconds while it's uh, coming in the drop, so it kind of throws off your uh, rhythm in the game. So, um, yeah, this map is cool. I was staying on this side, I think, the entire time, but on the other side of the map, bleachers and stuff, it's just a big stadium. There you can see the outs outside of the stadium on this side. Uh, Pretty nice, then you get the little courtyard over here, and i um, still using the shotgun, I think I switch it up in a minute here, because since I had the shotgun, I, didn't, I couldn't really run out in the open and get killed, which um, you can run out in the open there, which I don't recommend, or you can run all the way around in the backside, which is uh, pretty fun to do, and there you can see how well that pistol works, the little shotgun combination, like I was at a good range where my shot, he wasn't going to kill him, so I switched to the pistol and take him out pretty easy, the pistol with the uh, laser sights, nice, because you can just hip fire, you don't even have to really aim at somebody, um, so yeah, this map's cool. What else do you got? You got, a uh, Studio, which is a remake of Firing Range, which is probably one of the better maps in any Call of Duty game ever made. Uh, I really enjoy it, and it's just kind of like a redux of the game. They, uh, took Firing Range and made it a movie set, which is cool. There's a bunch of, like, pirate stuff. There's some dinosaurs on it, a bunch of, uh, gold mine things and stuff like that. So, um, here I think I switched guns once I noticed the shotgun couldn't do anything for me since I got killed there, or... Maybe not, maybe I didn't switch for a while. I know I switched to an SMG and then just, like, have a nice little, uh, yeah, I think this is where I switched because that just pissed me off right there. I don't know how he didn't take any damage from that. So, um, switch to the Peacekeeper here, and I think I start to go on a little tear here, which is nice because our team is still losing by four, and I'm only going 13 and six, which is actually a pretty bad score. Well, not bad score, but just a, not a good score. Um, so yeah, Studio, <laughs> I'm going to try to get back on topic. This is the most, like, erratic video. Studio is pretty cool, um... Vertigo is a fun little map. It's uh, 
very small, which I'm a fan of. I don't like huge maps. There's um, an inside way where you can go into it. I think there's uh, four different sides you can go in through and then just run around the outside. So I just usually stick to the outside of the map and just kind of circle it because it's tiny enough to where you'll see a lot of players and you can kill them pretty easily like that. Or you can go in the middle, but when you do that, you're going to kind of see somebody camping in there with an LMG or something like that. So that's just kind of wishing to die if you run in there. Um, and then there's a lot of bouncing Bettys in there too, which is kind of... Annoying that you always got to run engineer, you got to have a headset on so you can hear them click. Because um, if you hear them click and you hit the right joystick or whatever B button the crouch, whatever uh, um, your controller setup is, if you crouch quick enough, then those things just pop over your head, which is kind of nice. They're uh, a little less annoying than claymores, so <laughs> um, I don't know, they're still kind of annoying just because everybody uses them, but I'm not really a fan of them. I'd rather use C4 or Sumtex, because when you get those up, and you're throwing them around you, um, that just kind of gives your position away to uh, everyone who runs Engineer, which I think the majority of people who play this game uh, use it. No, you definitely should. You think it's uh, one of the better perks in the game. So um, there is that, and then there is Magma, which it's just a whatever map. It's not good. It's not real bad. There's um, a little dumb gimmicky thing where you can fall off the sides and die, or uh, if you stand in like, the hot coals of the Magma, then um, your dude will take some damage, like burn damage, and if you don't get out of him quick enough, then he'll... Uh, you end up dying, or you can get out of them, and then your health will regenerate and stuff like that. So I kind of ran out of stuff to talk about here, and I think this gameplay was this long. And then you've got Mob of the Dead, which is the new Zombies mode. It's a four-player co-op, or I don't know if you can play single-player or not. You can do if you don't have anybody to play with. You can just search for uh, a game on Xbox Live, and it'll pair you up with random people. But it's four dudes in an Alcatraz prison, and you're trying to escape, and the island's actually filled with zombies. So I didn't play it yet, but the concept seems pretty. Uh, Pretty cool. Um, not really a Zombies fan at all. Really didn't play it in uh, World at War, Black Ops 1, or this game. I don't even think I played it in this game, but played it in Black Ops 1 a little bit, but it wasn't my favorite thing to do. In World at War, people just like love playing that, but I'd rather play multiplayer. It's more fun to me. Um, so yeah, I think this gameplay is almost over. Here we go. There I missed that guy in the window, which kind of sucked, which um, I think I've got FMJ on the Peacekeeper, which is really good for people at a range. I don't like to put a silencer on it, because it just drops the damage off at range pretty bad. So you've got to, like, put an entire clip in somebody to kill them. But game's over. Final score was 33-7, uh, and seven, I think it said. So, um, yeah, I'll have an MLB video. Yeah, 33-7. and seven, So I'll have an MLB video out uh, hopefully later today. So that's a nice little comeback there, since it was, what, 13-6 and six at one point. Went on a nice little... Uh, Nice little kill streak there, so I'll try to put out some videos on the other maps too, and then um, yeah, new MLB the show video. Hopefully, it'll be up just like right after this one. I just gotta edit that up and stuff. So uh, all right, bye.